Action. I can go. There's just an update on uh, what has been done so far. The next step is to duplicate what you see on the front side here. And do the same thing on the very back side. And then when that is done, and to fill in either side. So now my project for today is to paint this in here a dark green and this plant on a very small brush and the paint is light green and this is all going to be rock. And this will be a light green. Uh, so uh, in order to put the rock in, it's been maybe I may have to uh, uh, take these two screws out so that we can be able to work down on the bottom and complete the rock and then replace it again. So these things, this this comes separate. You can take this off of, off of this area here. All these four corners can, are loose, so you can. Move them loose like this. And then take these off and neat be able to do all of the rock work in here. In this area here. And then when it's all done, then we'll just replace it. So, so how are we doing? All right? That's pretty good. That's a pretty good explanation. So, so this is where I need my little brush. This, this, and that. It's there. So, so how did you make the uh, the little round parts on the top? What are they made out of? On the top of the steeple? There, yeah. Those are fall off from, from these holes. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. And for the people that don't uh, know too much about um, making birdhouses, how did you what tool did you use to make the holes for the birds to go in, and what size are they? The, um, there's, there's a, um, this is this is a hole saw, part of a set. These heads come in various uh, various uh, um, sizes. For instance, this one here, that's this size here. And how big is that? This is an inch and a quarter. Okay, and what kind of bird goes in an inch and a quarter hole? Well, there's many, many varieties of smaller birds go into that. Okay. And this uh, this hole is a bit bigger, so uh, you have just a little, little bigger cutting head for that. That's awesome. Well, we're at three minutes now, so we'll conclude. We'll conclude this video for today, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.